And I'll use an extra division here to sort of round out that tragus bump. And again, soft my normals. That pretty much gives me the bulk of my ear. Just going to do a little bit of division work here to return these to being mostly quads. And if I have a triangle or two, it's generally okay as long as they're not sort of rampant across the model. Now we're getting really close to sort of the end part of what I would consider the important or difficult parts of the face. Uh, if you can get these major structures built, you've generally done pretty good. Uh, we will continue on here in just a second past the ear. Uh, just looking quickly at the neck and the back of the head, uh, it's not going to get entirely wrapped up, but uh, you'll notice we've got a little bit of um, extrusions kind of coming down now to join up with some of these areas. But again, I feel if, if you can get a manage on the uh, ears, nose, eyes, and mouth, the rest of the head becomes a much simpler form because it is just a, you know, essentially big round sphere on the back of your head. Going back, looking at the photos again, making sure you're tracing as close off of that as you possibly can. And I can see here my ear is a little bit thicker than the ear that uh, is represented in the photo. So I'm going to tweak these vertex positions to essentially make my ear a little bit thinner along the bottom. I mean, using a technique that I started on a long time ago, uh, extruding out one strip at a time to make these contours, uh, that's all you really have to do to continue and finish up the back of a head. Uh, going one strip at a time, taking it slowly, moving them from the side view and the front view, and then using the append polygon tool to essentially fill up any gaps. So again, you notice how I skipped a face up near the front that's because with an insert edge loop tool right here and a little quick move, I can now append those much quicker than it would have been to uh, merge to that section as well. Now my top down view isn't an exact one-to-one -one representation here. Uh, it's really hard to take an accurate, good top-down camera photo. Um, but there's one thing I am noticing here and that is the back of my head uh, even though it doesn't align up in that view, uh, it needs to be wider than the front of my head. And that's why I'm going to use the soft select modifier here of my move tool uh, and kind of pull that out. By holding down B and using your middle mouse button to kind of zoom left or right, you can actually change essentially the brush size of your soft select tool. And that's what I did to actually grow how many vertices I had selected. Looking a little bit better there now. Again, there's my brush modifier for that, holding down B, zooming left to right, and I can make these little tweaks, like pulling the ears out a little bit wider if I need to. That's kind of really what this end stage is about. It's about little refinements, uh, using soft mod tools like this, uh, using the sculpt geometry brush, 
um, which I haven't done much of in this tutorial, uh, and just making these little sort of tweaks that sort of stretch across a couple of vertices to make refinements and proportions that you see are needed. And then, of course, just filling up the holes. So here I'm using the Sculpt Geometry brush with a relax setting set on just to sort of uh, soften out the relationship from face to face. Uh, in the Sculpt Geometry tool, the brush can be changed the same way as the Move Tool settings for Soft Mod. Uh, just hold down B, zoom left to right. Uh, the Sculpt Geometry brush as well, I, I'm making sure to use the Relax brush when I work with that there, not the Smooth brush. Uh, the Relax brush keeps the general form, whereas the Smooth brush can kind of crease in on that a little bit. Uh, the smooth brush can also have a tendency to pull your vertices off the center line, and that's something that I want to try and avoid as well. So here's an append polygon tool and some uh, split polygon tool action going on. I'm trying to keep the number of vertices I have sort of linked up with the ear as possible. Uh, this will make sure again that I have all quads. So if I've got you know four edges on the side of the ear, I should probably have four edges on the head around it to make sure that the numbers match up and that my faces can maintain their square structure. Quick little extrusion outwards to try and match this up can allow me to get uh, some very, very quick movement here. Uh, using a snap to vertex again, just snapping this point to the other and then merging them up. Doing the same thing here. So once you snap, also make sure you merge. Then I can append a polygon tool right across these sections if need be. And here you'll see I'm just holding down V for snap to vertex, pulling these points into place. Sometimes it freaks out a little bit in perspective view. But there you go. There's another one, and there's another one. And I do have some open gaps here, but I will fix those up in just a minute. Let's merge all these up. Uh, my pen polygon tool seems to not be working again. Wonderful. But we can always trick it into working. Just going to do a fill hole on that section. Split outwards here. Merge up these points. And uh, you'll notice I've got two little triangles up here behind the ear. But if I remove out that center edge, duh, that's a quad. So. Remember, two triangles, if you get them near each other, you can always turn them into a quad by removing the center edge. And uh, that's exactly what I did there in the back of the ear. Now I'm just going to move these points into place. You can see the back of the head stretching out a little bit too far behind the ear. So again, they use the finishing split process polygon of this tool, cut a little bit more geometry small into this, amounts of vertices and lift up and make some quads Touching here. up any points, uh, this will help to be me to up, sure again, that your grid flow doesn't stretching, become zigzagged or wavy, the form, uh, and that it's sure flowing in as straight a line as possible the the ear, in both the U and V direction. And here we are from the front, looking at some of those same sort of things, noticing that my cheeks look a little bit wide, my jawline looks a little bit wide, so moving some of those vertices around. There's the soft mod to kind of push that in. So I'll continue drawing this edge loop downwards behind the ear, sort of tracing a cut for it. And there we pretty much have it. And there you go. This is 